Girl, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from April 15th to April 30th. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Virgo, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge from now until the end of April is the Nine of Cups and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Magician in Reverse, okay? So your biggest challenge here, Virgo, has a lot to do with the Nine of Cups. This is about you uh, really being conscious of your consumption, really being conscious of the food you're eating, the drinks that you're eating, the things that you're indulging in. And that may be challenging for you because you may be very tempted, right? To eat certain things and drink certain things. So we're gonna clarify this. We're gonna see more about why it's your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Virgo, you have the Temperance, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of uh, Pentacles. So in the recent past, I do get a really strong energy here of you wanting clarity. Okay, you want clarity, you want, you wanted to know, you know, are we gonna cooperate? Are we gonna collaborate? Are we gonna come together? Because something here was taking so long to manifest, there was a lot of uncertainty. We're gonna find out more in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Hierophant, the Knight of Swords, and the Hangman. So in the present moment with the hangman here, there's a lack of action being taken. Someone here wants to take action. They want to, um, how do I say this? Someone here is very much focused on the past all the time, okay? They're constantly thinking about the past or talking about the past. This could be someone that you're married to or committed to. We're gonna talk more about this in a moment. Now, in the near future for you, Virgo, you have the Fool, the Nine of Swords, and you have the Queen of Cups. So in the near future with the Queen of Cups here, there's a lot of love. Someone here has a lot of love. They're giving a lot of love. They're very emotional here in the near future. There's this fear, Virgo, that a new beginning may not happen, okay? And the reason why is because the closer we get into the Mercury retrograde, the more things start to slow down, the more things start to be harder when it comes to moving forward. And some of you may feel in the near future that whatever it is you're manifesting, it's just not happening. But you have to remember, okay? This is something that a lot of people online don't talk about, or maybe they do and I just don't know because I don't watch a lot of stuff online. But the magician here in reverse, you know, in order for you to manifest what you want, you have to do it at the right time, okay? The timing has to be right. The, 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 the air in, you know, the in reality has to be right everything has to be right so if you're trying to manifest something and it's not happening it's because the timing isn't right okay and if you're not aware of mercury retrograde then that should be something that you should be looking into to make sure that you're prepared okay so let's get into your reading let's see what's going on for you let's clarify your challenge Okay, so your challenge is clarified by, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. So this is you. Your biggest challenge here is to recognize that there is gonna be a huge opportunity for you between now and the end of April because the sun is gonna be entering into Taurus. It's going to trine your sun, moon, or rising astrologically. So this is about you not being beat up or felt beat down because something that you really want doesn't end up being yours. Some of you have some specific target or specific thing that you're doing. And when you make an offer or something happens, it, it's like you feel rejected or you feel like you're not wanted. But again, the timing is not right. So your challenge here is not to beat yourself up or overindulge in drink, food, drink, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is to numb that pain, but to tell yourself, look, Hun, the time is not right. 
you need to wait for the right timing. And that's what the Wheel of Fortune is all about. The Wheel of Fortune is time. It is the four seasons. It is winter, fall, summer, and spring. And because the sun is going to be crossing over this, which is the spring equinox, that is when you can be able to manifest. So because Mercury is retrograding, you may feel like everything that I do, it doesn't move forward. Nothing's happening. Well, the time is not right. So it's important during this time that you are doing everything correctly to prepare for when the opportunity to, when the opportunity does show up, you're ready to pounce on it. Okay. And that's going to be your biggest challenge. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the temperance. Now, the same thing that you're experiencing or you experienced in the past is happening in the present moment, and it's connected to some sort of lesson. Okay. And I know a lot of you are going to comment and say, Monica, we're so sick of lessons. Well, that's life. Okay. We're, we're all here to learn. That's the whole point of being here. Okay. So let's clarify the temperance. You have the Knight of Swords, the Fool, and the Hangman. Yeah. So in the recent past, you wanted to have a new beginning. You were rushing into it, or you were dealing with someone here who was rushing into it. Someone here constantly was questioning, okay, is, are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? Is it going to happen? Are we going to collaborate? Are we going to... So the more you act like that, okay, whether this is you or your person, the less likely it's going to happen. But either way, you wanted something to happen here in the past, and it took quite some time for it to happen, okay? Now, in the present moment, the same thing is happening. The hangman is here, just like it was in the past. And I said that. I intuitively said that before the hangman came out in the past. So why, and you have to be careful, right? Because the more you force something without holding, allowing it to come to you, there's something here about allowing something to come to you within time, okay? The more you force something, the more you push something, the less likely it's gonna work out the way you want it to because spirit is showing you you're not in control. I know we come into this reality thinking we have control with free will, but free will is not a hundred percent. Uh, and we all know that because there's circumstances that happen in our life that are beyond our control. So why is the Knight of swords here in the present moment for Virgo? You have the ace of swords, the Six of Swords and the King of Swords. Some of you are dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in the present moment. And this person may be pushing you. They may be saying, come on, are you? Are we going to do this? Are we going to do it? Are we not? Are we going to do this? I need answers. I need answers. I said this to, I don't know if this was Libra. I said this to or Gemini. Maybe it was Gemini. Yeah, some of you are dealing with Gemini. So Here's the thing, Virgo, someone here is choosing to disconnect in the present moment because they're not getting any answers from you. And in a way, there's an energy here of feeling forced, like someone saying, do it now. Let's go. Let's do it now. Let's get this done. So in the present moment, this could have a lot to do with a commitment, a potential marriage or a commitment. Tell me more about the Hierophant in the present moment for Virgo. Three of Swords, Six of Wands, the Hierophant. Someone here feels in the present moment that they need to go off and do things on their own. They feel like they can't rely on the other person. Every time they try to rely on the other person, they end up getting hurt. And this is happening in a commitment or a relationship that you're in. So there's kind of like a stalemate here in the present moment. It's like someone here doesn't know if they should move forward. They don't know if they should take this person up on their offer because I don't know how to explain this. And I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. I did say it in the Gemini reading. So if you're dealing with a Gemini or you have Gemini in your chart, please go and watch that reading because there's something very similar here that I'm getting. There's something here about someone pushing, wanting something now. And when they don't get it, they disengage. And when somebody does that, in my opinion, and not that my opinion matters, I'm just here to read. I'm just saying based on what my experience is, when someone is forcing something and pushing you to do something that you don't wanna do, it shows that this person doesn't really care or respect your boundaries. And that's what I'm getting here in the present moment with the hangman. That's why someone here is not moving. They're not budging because they wanna see if this person's patient, they want to see if this person's understanding. They want to see if this person is someone who is going to really, um, be patient, right? Because good things come to those who wait, right? You know, things don't just happen like that. It takes time for good things to be built on a solid foundation. So someone here is hurt 
that's why they're disconnecting because they want answers and they're not getting answers in the present moment. So they're just ab abandoning the situation or disconnecting from it. Tell me more about the hangman in the present moment for Virgo. You have the queen of pentacles, the chariot and the eight of swords. Yeah. So someone here is feeling forced to move forward. Eight of swords and the chariot. And I feel like this is you. This person's either pushing you or saying, come on, come on, we got to go, we got to go. And you could be saying to yourself, no, like Mercury retrograde's coming. I know what's happening. And this is going to affect you more than maybe the air signs. I mean, the Mercury retrograde always <laughs> affects air signs, but it's going to affect you mainly because you're an earth sign and it's happening in an earth sign. So in the near future, there's this fear that a new beginning may never happen. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords in the near future for Virgo. You have the Seven of Swords, the Death, and the Ace of Cups. Okay. So in the near future, I'm really strongly getting that the reason why a new beginning doesn't happen. And again, a new beginning in love, a new beginning in something here that you're very passionate about. Again, it could be a job, a relationship, a project is because someone here doesn't trust the other person. There's a lack of trust. There's a lack of someone here feeling like they can truly open up to this person. Now, is there love here in the near future? Absolutely. But in order for love to flourish and move to the next level, you need to be comfortable enough to take that risk. And if that risk is not one that someone feels worth worthy to take, then that's what creates some sort of transformation or ending. Tell me more about the fool in the near future for Virgo. Five of Pentacles, the justice and the five of swords. Yeah. So it's almost like someone here in the near future, they want to have a new beginning, but they may be going about it all the wrong way. Someone here is saying, you better do this. If you don't do this now, I'm leaving because someone here wants something to be set right. Okay. So there, there's some sort of painful situation or circumstance that's happening in the present moment. And someone here is taking too long to resolve the issue. And that's why in the near future, there's this, uh, ultimatum. The ultimatum is do this or I'm leaving. If you don't do this, I'm leaving. I'm going. And at the same time in the near future, there's this, but don't you love me? I thought you loved me. Why are you putting me through this? Why are you putting pressure on me? So there's something that's happening here that's outside of your control. Uh, and it's happening during Mercury retrograde, eight of wands in reverse. Okay. So let's get some advice for you on that. What's the advice for Virgo? So the advice for you is the queen of pentacles. You have the five of cups and the eight of wands. Okay. So your biggest piece of advice here, Virgo is to ask yourself this one important question. Am I giving a situation in my life too many chances? Am I trying to make something work over and over again and feeling drained and feeling like it's not functioning or working? And if that's the case, it's very important that you shift your focus on the things that are working out and where you can put your time and energy. If something is not working out and you keep investing and giving to it and giving to it, then, you know, there, that just leads to being in a power struggle that leads to something here, not flourishing or manifesting the way that you want to. And that's why the magician was here in reverse in terms of what you don't see coming. So when some sort of roadblock shows up between, you know, mid April to the end of April, it's important that you ask yourself what's worthy of your attention, because if you keep feeding something and giving to something here that's just not working and it's not functioning, then that's the reason why it's not moving forward. Maybe the timing isn't right. Maybe now is not the time and you don't want to drain yourself and put yourself through something that is not worth your time and energy. So it's really important that you shift your focus during this period to things that are working, that are within your control and maybe go back to this situation at a later time. And if someone here is not willing to wait and be patient with you, then at that point you need to make a decision if this is something that you still want. Okay. So Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.